Let's hear. So, I want to talk about the fishing game in Africa. But my focus right now will be on Nigeria, a country where I was born. That I must that anytime I see a woman who is fish, in fact, I did develop natural dislike for that woman. You don't, you, you, you know. You, Okay, so the welcome to part two of uh, the Blishi syndrome that is eating up Nigerians and Africans in general. You know, um, <clears throat> just to let you know that I'm not alone here, all right? I'm here with Snippy. Say hi, Snippy. Hello, viewers. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Please enjoy the view. All right, guys. <clears throat> Thank you, Chinipi. Let's let's talk to these people. You see, I know that this is a very sensitive issue for our people, for anyone, because they have made bleaching so so. Like it's not it's no it's no longer a strange thing. It's no longer anything. They just do one like say. If you if you did if you did Africa, you get that skin. You you know beautiful or something something like that. <clears throat> it would be say it they pay me very well because as somebody who it's not because I have my skin is like is the way it is or anything that I want everybody. It's just that there's something you people are missing inside this thing. Now for the, now they forget the reality of what is becoming of of Africa or Nigeria or any black country in the world. When they see scientists doing everything every day to make sure that the black race gone into extinction, when they forget the reality of what they happen, now they made you feel like when I know you are not beautiful, they made you feel like your, your skin is the worst skin in the world. And the, this, the, the reason why I don't blame these people who are selling these ideas to you people because they never forced you to it. They just sell you the ideas. It is now left in your brain, in your own yeah, thinking to decide whether you want to, to follow those, those kind of things. It's really, it really baffles me a lot. Eh? Like, if you go out in anywhere, especially in Nigeria, you will discover that 90% of women there in that other venue or whatever event or anywhere you go even in churches if they happen for church every time every day you go to church they see even pastor's wife and pastor's daughters and pastor's children they are blushing so i don't understand which one they want to see now okay for example now you they bleach you yellow at the age of 25 by the time you get to 40 what will become of you that time you don't have any color no one see for example now there is a new revolution in the world they ask you to identify with a race now which race are you going to identify with on a more reality note sha, on a more reality note more now understand what you now they try to do now for me to experience racism in nigeria among nigerians this issue i will keep talking about it eh? for me to see i don't it, it, the thing is this it, it, the brainwashing is killing a lot a lot of people all right it's killing a lot of people and i don't want to call name i just want to talk i just want to like talk because this thing they pay me they pay me rich in my bone marrow since i discovered these things in africa why do we why do our women or our guys feel like they need to bleach why First of all, if you are a Christian and you are bleaching, I want you to know that you are, dis you are a disappointment to God. And that's why God not the answer your prayer. Whether you do any way you say they do, and I make it not say, I just out of pity, God they give you those things. Eh? For you to bleach your natural, natural God giving skin, eh? it means you are telling God that God, you made mistake in creating me. Well, I don't know whether or not they think where. Well. Well, the thing they pay me rich, like how can you imagine? Imagine you will work so hard in that country, in like in Nigeria, you will work so hard, so hard to earn salary. After you earn salary, you will take over twenty thousand of your money to go and buy cream. 
and you maintain that crime for many years and this is why there are so many many reasons why people are committing crime women are prostituting everywhere the, the, there's so many cases of infidelity and of faithfulness in nigeria i don't i don't really understand the chair i don't really it, it concerns me and it bothers me and i feel like people need to stop we need to we need to find a way of edging stop shaming people who have darker skin of course they are beautiful Look, more than they think now, which person you don't go, which Asia person where you don't see where you meet you say, I want to turn to black person, or you meet a white person, a Caucasian, and meet you say, ah, how can I get, how can I have your skin? This is natural, man. You, it can't be bought. No matter how scientists try, they can't get it. I'm gonna stop this bleaching. All these people who are doing this is business. They are not forcing you. Eh? Me, I cannot, I cannot force them. I cannot abuse them. Even though they are trying to make you feel like you know, when you do it, that's when you look beautiful. But the reality is still that you are the one who will make your money, work so hard, stay in Lagos, go slow from three, four hours, finish just to go and buy cream. Bible calibration is wrong, eh? even though it was not mentioned in the Bible. Bleaching is wrong. You people should stop bleaching. Bleaching is very, very, very wrong. For for not to disable ourselves like this for bleaching, eh? I don't I don't really understand it. I don't get it. I, I do not understand why Africans or black skin, natural, beautiful, God made people are bleaching their skin. If you if you are in if you are ever let me let me pull on my glasses. My eyes are getting red. I don't want to if you if you have ever been in the midst of western people light-skinned people they admire you they admire you they tell you it's not that they yes. the problem with this generation is that we a lot of you guys a lot of us feel very inferior about your own skin this bleaching need to stop this bleaching need to stop nigerians mona stop to the bleach now back for us you did ah, this bleaching they pay me eh? they pay me reach my bone when i know they fight for nepal when in light no deal when i know they fight for buhari where they treat to nine here when i know they do anything but when i go just get everything I just say, if somebody just tell you say are you bleaching or this is, this is your borrowed skin when i could just they begin to get angry and i begin to go oh, especially yoruba people yoruba people the this one and they 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 put see i'm not tribalistic eh? i'm not a somebody who is a gay tribe or anything but i know very well that very very well somebody who has been in lagos and always still going to lagos that bleaching in nigeria started with yoruba people i want so i want so i want so close way. all these bleaching 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 things the, the same thing now now start out for this way. the same way on our start i say mo kuna go back i'm gonna go tell these people say na mistake on our make say all this on our knuckle i think all this actress name i they watch movie now they see on her face now they see all these things when they do some people they go post picture for instagram they call the light here yeah, make make see they thought that way go fire on i say mona not make me swear eh? and this they really pay me i beg mona stop this bleaching my name is harry thank you for joining me today on alaska spice tv Please subscribe to my YouTube channel because this bleaching matter, I will campaign against this bleaching matter until all Nigerians repent and God have mercy on you people. Alright? Talk and leave. No time to tell time. Cheers.